What's up you guys, DX1 here. Welcome back to the office. It's been a little while since we've been here. Um, it feels really good to be back at home to break down some information. Um, this feels really good to be back. I've been just traveling every which where over the past couple of months. And um, yeah, it's it's been it's been crazy, but it feels really good to be back here. In fact, I'm gonna do a playlist of the California blogs and the Florida blogs and the Taiwan blogs that have taken place over the past three months. If you guys want to take a look back and check those out um, for yourselves. So, I um, actually don't have my streak, so excuse me real quick. Shrewis, uh 409 CP. All right. Hey, that's what's up. All right. Shrewis caught five day streak. Beautiful. 700 Stardust, 1340 XP. All right. Without further ado, let's get into this. So, how do we know when we're going to get the next legendary Pokemon? We can actually tell by the beautiful news segment in Pokemon Go now. And Rayquaza has proven victorious. So, from March 5th to 16th, Pokemon that prefer windy weather will hatch more often from eggs. And Rayquaza will be available until March 16th. As we know, uh, Pokemon Go has been releasing the legendaries um, every single month we get a new legendary Pokemon out. So since the Hoenn region started rolling out, we got Groudon, we got Kyogre, now we've got Rayquaza. All three of them came back for a week, now we just have Rayquaza. But Rayquaza is leaving on Friday, so... Which leaves us some room to speculate, you know, what is gonna be the next legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Go? Now, I've been saying it's gonna be Latios or Latias, depending on which part of the world you live in. I'm still sticking to that, however, we have nothing confirmed and nothing announced from Niantic. In fact, I'm still waiting. I'm still looking for, like, a tweet from Niantic. I'm just like, you know, it's Friday. Like, I'm waiting. Um, but, you know, Niantic likes to take their good old time on just about everything. So, um, we're not going to go ahead and waste our time. We're going to go ahead and look at this new article from the Pokemon Go Hub. Our friend at the Pokemon Go Hub shouts to you guys, first of all, for all of this amazing information. So, it says right here, the only legendary Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoenn region that hasn't been available in raid battles yet are the Eon Duo, Latios and Latias, and the Reggie Trio. The only two other options are a re-release of the previous legendary Pokemon that have been available for a while, or a legendary break, as what we had one before Groudon was released, but only lasted for about 24 hours. So, you know, we could get a week-long legendary break. We could actually get a break from the legendaries, but the way things have been rolling for Pokemon Go, I highly doubt that we're going to get, um... An extended break from the legendaries they usually like to have a legendary up in that spot for at least a month or or a month and a half or something like that it looks like we could be getting Latios and Latias the Eon duo so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at their stats so both of these Pokemon are very similar but they're different from each other at the same time one is more um, defensive oriented and one is more offensive oriented. So we're going to take a look at Latios, the more offensive oriented Pokemon. You can tell by the attack stat, 268, 228 defense, and 160 stamina. So 100% it's going to be 2082 with Windy Weather Boost is going to be 2603. So Latios, the more defensive Pokemon with an attack of only 228, a defensive stat of 268, a stamina stat of 160. So the stamina stat remains the same, however, the attack and defense stat are literally swapped between the two. So, Latias is going to be more defensively minded, Latios more offensively minded. So, 100% for Latias, um, and Raid Boss is going to be 1929, and 100% with Weather Boost, 24-12. So, what's going to be interesting is that they both have different max CPs. Latias is going to max out at 3,377. Kind of lackluster, however, we have Latios with the max CP of 3,644. So, taking a look at the move sets for both of these Pokemon, Dragon Breath and Zen Headbutt are going to be the quick moves, which I'm really excited about because we haven't had a Dragon Breath Pokemon since they took it away from Dragonite and they made that a legacy move. So, we're going to get Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw, and Psychic and Solar Beam as the fast move sets for Latios. Latios. It's going to be Dragon Breath, Zen Headbutt are going to be the quick moves with Dragon Claw, Psychic, and Thunder being the charge move. So pretty interesting stuff. And we're going to take a look at the counters real quick for these Pokemon. Let's go ahead and zoom all the way down. So, counters, what are you going to want to power up for Latios and Latias? So, Latios is going to be more of a difficult battle than Latias, but 
again, the counters are going to remain the same. You're going to want Gengar with Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball, Dragonite with Dragon Tail Outrage, you two with Psycho Cut Confusion. Also, you're going to want Rayquaza with Dragon Tail Outrage. And for one, I just I do have to give a shout out to Rayquaza because Rayquaza historically has been my best legendary run since um makes sense Raikou. Raikou, I actually ended up with a 98, a 96, a 91. With Rayquaza, I ended up with two 98s and a 96, all in Florida. So that was pretty awesome. So shouts to Rayquaza. Rayquaza is my boy. Thank you so much for the high IVs. So, moving on, our counters. Tyranitar with Bite and Crunch. And also, a couple other interesting counters can be Scizor. As well with the moveset of, I believe, Fury Cutter and X Scissor is going to be the fantastic moveset for Scizor, so you can go ahead and add that to the list as well. So, um, the counter is going to be the, ex the exact same for both Latios and Latias, and it's going to be pretty interesting because now we're going to have a Dragon and Psychic combination, something that we've never had before in Pokemon Go. Most of the part, most of the part, all of the effective battle dragons have been Dragon and Fly, and these are going to be the first um, battle-ready, battle-meta-relevant Pokemon that are Dragon type and Psychic type. So they're going to offer a pretty interesting utility. Moving on in Pokemon Go, so the Reggie Trio, Reggie Rock, Ice, and Steel. Let's take a look at their stats. So Reggie Rock with an attack of 179, a defense stat of 356, a stamina stat of 160, and the same with Reggie Ice. Reggie Ice an attack of 179. A defense set of 350, seven set of 160. So, they have max CP for Regirock, 1764. Max CP for Regi Ice, 1764. And 2205 is going to be their 100% weather boost. Uh, partly cloudy, you're going to be looking for for weather boosted Regirock, Regi Ice, Snowy, obviously, for weather boost, 2205. So, Regirock and Regi Ice, massive defense stat. Pretty low attack stat. And let's go ahead and look at Registeel real quick. Registeel, 143 attack, 285 defense, 160 Satama. And 100% you're going to look at 1292. And also, Registeel is going to be weather boosted by the snowy weather. And you're, you're going to be looking at 1615 at 100%. So, also taking a look at the max CPs for these Pokemon. Pretty. I think they're just reaching the point of decency, pretty much just better than Agron and Donphan. 3087 is going to be the max CP for Regirock, 3087 is going to be the max CP for Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, an abysmal 2261 CP. So these guys aren't going to be that special, but they are going to be, I believe, in the raid system for the next three months. I'm thinking that we're going to get these during the summer months, so probably June, July, August we may get these Pokemon in the raid boss system so take a look at the move sets and then we're gonna go ahead and look at the counters after that so the move sets for Reggie Rock Rock Throw Rock Smash are gonna be the fast moves the charge moves Stone Edge Zap Cannon and Focus Blast so with Reggie Ice it's gonna be Frost Breath Rock Smash with the move set of Blizzard Earthquake and Focus Blast and for Reggie Steel Metal Claw Rock Smash are going to be the fast moves. The charge moves are going to be Flash Cannon, Hyper Beam, and Focus Blast. So they're all going to be able to learn Focus Blast and Rock Smash, and then they're going to differentiate between the two when it comes to their fast moves, um, depending on the Pokemon. So obviously Reggie Rock going to have some Rock moves. Reggie Ice going to have some Ice moves. Reggie Steel going to have some Stew moves. With all due respect, I do understand the move typing and the move selection for these Pokemon. To be quite honest with you. When I make my counters for these, for the Reggie Trio, I'm just going to have um, all six of my Machamps. I'm going to have them all maxed out because I do have six Machamps, all 95 IV to 100% IV and above with 15 and 14 attacks. So I'm just going to max out all six of them. Done. Um, that's going to be my, my strategy for those Pokemon. So let's take a look at the counters for the Reggie Trio. The Champ is going to be all the way up there. It's going to be the number one counter for all three. Um, Counter Dynamic Punch, Gyarados with Waterfall and Hydro Pump for Reggie Rock, Moltres with Fire Spin and Overheat for Reggie Ice, Hariyama Counter Dynamic Punch, and Kyogre for Waterfall and Hydro Pump are going to be some pretty solid counters. Um, and again, Reggie Steel, you cannot go wrong with any fighting type. Machamp, Hariyama, 
Blaziken if you want to use that as well is a fantastic counter. As we know from previous information, Latios has a higher attack stat than Latios and thus it will outperform in gym battles and raids. Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw is one of the best Dragon type moves that's dealing a ton of damage and also allow the player to dodge comfortably as cooldown for both moves is very short in comparison to other moves th with the same type such as Dragon Tail, Outrage, or Draco Meteor. So, Latios' base attack stat is 268, slightly higher than Dragonite's 263, but lower than Salamite's 277 and Rayquaza's 284. So, Latios is a Dragon and Psychic type, so it's going to be vulnerable to Bug, Dark, Ice, Ghost, and Fairy type. So, a lot of ice types like Cloyster could be um, useful as well as, well as Gardevoir is useful as well. So um, get your Ralts, 100% Ralts if you have those, power those up. There, you have a lot of different options, but I'm going to go more in depth on each of these Pokemon as they get officially announced from that. This is more of like a generalist guide on these Pokemon. So unlike any of its competitors, they don't have any double weaknesses, but Latios will be a fantastic Pokemon to power up once you get one and to, will be used to sweep gyms. So I'm really excited for Latios um, specifically because I know he's going to be another fantastic Dragon type gym sweeper just like I use um, Machamps as gym sweepers a lot. I use Dragonites as gym sweepers. So I'm really excited to have another Dragon type gym sweeper with a diverse moveset as well. They're, they're better than Rock types like Golem and better than Ice type Pokemon than Articuno and pretty much the same as steel type of Pokemon such as Metagross, but they won't be great additions to the attacking lineup and they won't be very relevant in the current metagame unless we get a battle system rework. So, um, those that's going to be all the information right now um, as I should display because again we don't have any official announcement. Once we get an official announcement, official drop, let's go more in depth on every Pokemon that is announced. But as of right now, those are going to be the speculated Brave Bosses coming into Pokemon Go at the rate Quasar leaves on Friday. Again, we could get um, a break from Legendary Raids and we could get um, some of these Pokemon now. So we could get something completely different. We have no idea what Niantic has up their sleeves, but we can only speculate. We can only predict what's going to be happening in Pokemon Go. So don't forget, if you enjoyed this general guide, don't forget to please drop a like. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was very helpful to you guys. If you have any questions or any concerns, please drop a comment below. Don't forget to drop a like. DX1 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next one.